Hello there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Galsiv 2. I've just spent the last 10 minutes on the wiki and all I managed to do is confuse myself. Essentially, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I think this uh, this is roughly fine. All you want to do if you want an economic planet is fill them with economic bonus things and a farm. And an entertainment thing. And if it isn't enough entertainment then twiddle it about until it is. Maybe. It's, it's close enough anyway. Send the turn. Uh, yes, Octavia 2. It's now built. Ooh. 100% manufacturing bonus. Uh, I need an economic planet. But I really want an industrial planet. This is going to be the industrial planet. Octavia 2 is the shipbuilding planet from now on. Got it? Always remember that. This is the shipbuilding planet. So. A factory there. Don't forget the starport, but we don't need to build that first. Um, factory, 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 factory. Then we'll throw down a starport recruiting center. Entertainment network. Just keep it happy. And then. Factory. Mm. Yeah, and then factory, 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 factory. Uh, eventually this will be... This will get changed up with other things. Uh, but for now... Oh, I didn't even build that. Okay, Octavia 2 is not going to be used for a... Oh, crap. It's not going to be used for a long time. When it is, however, it will probably be the base of our fleet building operations for use in the war against the Drengen Empire. Yep. These are the bad guys. These are outright the bad guys, unless you count the Korath, which are these guys, but worse. So, yeah. Hello, Lord Kona. How would you feel about trading with us? Good, good. Probably not. Um, ooh. This little asterisk here, that means this is a unique tech to their uh, race. Now, interesting to note, you can still have them if you trade for them. It's, it's just, it just means it's impossible for me to research them. Also worth noting, if I ever get one on this side, I should not, under any circumstances, trade that to anybody because then they otherwise won't be able to have it. What does Xeno Slavery do? Straight up, 5% social production, nothing else. I want it. Stellar Cartography, uh, fine, I'll probably want that as well. I think it's basically useless, it just lets you see planets on the minimap, which is mostly useless, but it's worth getting anyway. For this, I shall trade with you Xeno Farm Construction. No amount of money, eh? Ah. Also, a difference between this and Civ. Look what he reads. Well, uh, read what he says. Forget it, we work, worked very hard to get Xeno slavery and have no intention of handing over it to anyone. You'd have to give your right arm for it, for starters. Ridiculous trade in order to get it. And that's because it is unique, so you'd have to trade it for anybody else to get this. Eventually, he might. But for now, no. Uh, we can also go to, I think, our relations, and we can see how happy we are, so we have trade with them. Maybe we can make just... Let's do Stellar Tog Cartography 4. Xeno Communications, and he can give us a bit of money. Uh, just having a trade means that he will... Um, he'll like us a bit more. He'll just be a bit less likely to murder us, knowing that we're, you know, trading with him a bit. So that's all good. I'm going to put the recruiting center up. It just occurred to me that that would be really good to get first because the extra population growth. Sorry, I, I don't know what I was thinking there. I think that is the best way of going about it. Um, is that building constructor? Good. Okay. Extra troop strength. We're going to need that. Um, entertainment network completed on August 4. Cool. Extra approval in the galaxy. Uh... It's making money. It's not even making money yet. Why? Why is it spending so much? Stop spending. There's a ten, and then the, the ten percent, and the eight. Oh god, it's going to take a while. Yeah, planets take a while to kick in and make money for you. Tourism is starting to make a little bit, but you know, not too much just yet. Maybe when this embassy kicks in. Let's push, push that up a little bit. Uh, still build that factory first, though. 
Oh, and there's the Dragon Scout ship. That's what spotted us. Or we spotted, you know, whichever way you want to look at it. And we just made the diplomatic translators. Excellent. So just to absolutely um, uh, demonstrate it, what we can do is we can now trade them. For instance, we can trade them over here for 382. We're not going to because it means every other um, every other trade in the future would be worse. But we could. Space defenses we don't want. That's not useful for us at all. So we're going to ignore that. And the Paulos have trade. I'm already three weeks into that. I'm not trading money for it or anything. Okay, is in a lab on Earth, traditional factory on Rhea. More money out of the coffers. There we go. Dark Yore espionage level reached low. Using the funds dedicated to gather information on the Dark Yore, we've been able to intercept messages. On private channels and bribe lower and government officials, even though our knowledge of the government infrastructure is sparse, it's better than no information at all. Let's go trade, let's go change them out. Ooh, and the, uh, oh, that's different. Uh, the, 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 um, United Planets convenes next turn. We have considerably more. I think this is based upon, ah, it's based upon influence. So we will be able to pick, essentially, what happens next turn. Uh, what I want to do, though, is go to Espionage, remove the the uh, one on the Dark Yore, and put it on the Dragon. I still don't remember what this does, but I'm definitely going to want the Espionage on the Dragon as opposed to the Dark Yore. Dark Yore is probably fine, but Dragon is going to be more important, I would imagine. Pair rate, cool. And the trade tech, excellent. And then we'll go and research the that one sensor technology, maybe. I mean, three weeks to get sensors plus one, that's fine. Oh, no, economics. Let's get a probably two economic techs here, actually. And of course, the RCN Empire picks this moment. So these guys are neutral, they're quite powerful, but, you know, they're neutral, so. That's fine. Oh, we don't get a pick anymore. Okay. Basic transports have no weapons due to the galactic law of helpless combatants. While there are ship components that can be added to serve this purpose, there are parties that believe all transports should have basic offensive capabilities. The proposal is for 52 weeks. Armed transports with some basic firepower in each weapon category. Okay, now it's interesting to note that because there are four options, as long as these two don't vote the same, I do pick. And transport, I'm not I'm not going to be invading, in the, certainly certainly not in the next 52 weeks, maybe in like uh, 100 weeks when I've got a nice, where I might, might have a decent sort of alliance built up. But for now, no, 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 I don't want any transports, possibly um, shooting down any defenders I build on the way to invade my planet, so not. Interesting, the Drengen also don't want any. The Arsins did, huh. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if the uh, the Arsene Empire is maybe planning a bit of an early, bit of an early invasion. Hmm. Anyway, uh, they have no techs we want. Uh, three planets, decent amount of scout ships. Very little money though. Only fifty-one credits in the world. Interesting. So then after, oh, no, then then after a great start, maybe they are, um, maybe they've been going for the planetary invasion tech early. Oh, it's, it's possible. It's unlikely. It's very poor idea as a general rule, but, you know, it's possible. Anyway. Oh, I want that constructor, but I really want a trade ship as well. Okay, we'll hold off on the trade ship, build a, uh, hold off on the constructor, we'll build it. We can't. I guess now we have to finally, finally, finally go and invent a new ship. So, there's going to be a cargo ship with a trade module. Now, very robust, um, system for constructing ships in this game. However, I am not very good at it. I'm in fact quite lazy when it comes to it. So I'm going to build that and then let's see. There's, it's interesting to point out there's um, there's two different sort of things. There's um, there are purely cosmetic upgrades like the extras and then there are modules and weapons and defenses and engines that contribute towards this bar. So uh, size of a trade module is 20, and it can have a maximum of 60 on a cargo hull. Um, hmm. I was about to say why is it so low, but we need to put an engine on here, I think. Uh, so let's put a, a hyperdrive plus on there somewhere. Where am I allowed? Here. 
there and then I want to put a little extra something on it here somewhere it will be the one with the rings put a big ring on it uh, let's put a big thing up there Woo! <laughs> uh, sure that's our trade ship again like I say I'm not very good at these but you know so this can be the um, what's a trader it's the it's the trotter class <laughs> uh, yeah it's the tr so we now have created the trotter class trader uh, if you don't get that reference I'm um, yeah okay uh, let's, let's, let's build one of those. Let's see a farm fleet on Earth. Cool, cool. Uh, hopefully the yeah, Xeno Economics is coming soon. And Earth has apparently built all its things. Interesting. Definitely going to want to get the Xeno factory soon, so there's a bit of extra stuff here. And it's worth pointing out that, um, yeah, once there's no social stuff, it all goes towards the military construction, so we can now build ships much, 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 much faster on Earth. It's good. So we built the Trotter. I don't know of any other home worlds or planets at all, so we're going to then change. Hopefully to finally build that constructor in five weeks. Now, Trotter. Let's see, how do I do this? If, as I recall, I just pick a planet I want to trade with, and right-click, and maybe when it gets there it'll set up a trade route. Maybe. <laughs> um, I'm going to hope so. Yeah, Trotter 159 complete on Earth. Cool. And the Dominion of Corks, ah, that's the name of the uh, the traders. The Dominion of Corks are built in economic capital, so they're in the game, which is fine. If they want to trade with me, that's all good. And we've got a bit of espionage information on the Drengen. Uh, so we can go have a look at them. Uh, do you do here? No, wait, report here. And yeah, it all shows a couple of little bits of information, nothing massive to speak of. Ion Drive, eh? Would you possibly be willing to trade that, do you reckon? I'm sure about the Xeno Slavery. Still too much for that. But the Ion Drive, I'm betting for Xeno Research, you'd do it. I'm not for the Universal Translator, you'd do it. Or I could just purchase it for 189. Let's go Translator and then a load of money off you. And we'll get that Ion Drive. Not going to use it just yet, but uh, if we decide to design maybe uh, an upgraded scout ship, we'll. Uh, We'll pop, pop it on there. Probably not going to want that until we've got some better sensors, of course. Ah, Xeno Economics. Good, good. So the next level is 21. It doesn't come with any innate economic improvement, but it does come with the Xeno Bank, which is considerably better than the Advanced Market Center. Uh, the next one does come with extra 5%, and then there's, there's all sorts of things. I think we can hold off for now. Probably going to want to go for the Xeno Industrial Theory. Gives us the Xeno Factory and the Manufacturing Capital, which we can throw on that planet I've already forgotten the name of. I need to rename them, something I can actually remember. Uh, or we could do Xeno Engineering, which has the plus 10, but no. We're going to want to build the Xeno Factories, I think. I'm good at this. Let's do that. So uh, Earth can get started on the good thing. And then Octavia 2, that's the one. Again, might need to rename them, but uh, yeah, not just yet. Ah, the constructor's completed, finally. So you go over to the economic resource, and you know what? We'll keep building a few more, I think, and then we can send them over as well. Because uh, then you can um, you, you can improve the amount of uh, bonus you get to your economics by putting more constructors into it to build more like modules onto it. No weapons yet, but there's no weapons in the galaxy really just yet. Hopefully, wasn't wrong. Ooh, there's the Drengen. Okay, I'm actually going to take direct control of the flagship for just a minute to pop into Drengen territory and try and spot one of their, or preferably their capital. I can send a trade ship there. That would probably be worth quite a lot of money to us. <clears throat> to ensure economic stability in the galaxy and to further relations with other races, it has become obvious that trading will become a large part of our intergalactic expansion. However, the races we've contacted are less than eager to build a dependency on the goods of other empires. It will take time and research to convince them to raise the current trade restrictions on our merchants. Cool. 
Okay, our freight from Earth has arrived on the distant dock Yacht 2. It has established a new trade route with their civilization that private industry will maintain during times of peace. The estimated value of this route is between 14 and 26 billion credits per week, with the value being higher when the merchant vessels are further away from the home port and less than closer. Good. And the Korean Consul, it's interesting. Uh, these guys like influence. They will, they're big on this like, religion they have. And what they do is they build space stations around your planets and try and convert them to their religion. Which I don't like. Xeno Engineering, that's not the one I'm going for, is it? Can I buy it? Will you trade Xeno Biology for it? You would. It also give me a whole load of money for it. I am all into that. So go for it. Uh, quickly to check. Uh, economic treaty. Not into that yet. Okay, and something else I was going to check. I'm going to check the domestic stats. Uh, so, see, so yeah, the trade is 14 now to 16, um, and I think it increases over time. Maybe in 79 turns, it upgrades. Maybe. All I know is that extra 14 credits is quite significant at our current level of um, income. So why don't we go to the shipyard and upgrade the Trotter class trade ship. Upgrade it. Uh, we want to take off the... Oh, it's taken off everything already. Yes, yeah, so we want to put on the trade module. It's down there. Just down there. And then we want to pop on the... Ion drive, which is significantly smaller than the Hive Drive Plus. So we'll pop that, uh, let's put it there and there. And it fits on. And so now we have a. See, does that just. Do you want to replace the trotter design? We recommend not using the same name for upgraded designs. Yes. Uh. Upgrade ship cut. No, 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 cancel. Has it done it? Speed? Three week? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we've upgraded it. Um, constructors, I still want them. I still want them. But yeah, build a couple of... Uh, probably should have made it Trotter Mark II, but whatever. That would just clutter up the list. What are you doing? Stop automating for just a moment and go explore. I need to find the Drengen homeworld. It'd be very valuable to put a thing there. Probably came from killing me for a bit longer as well. Achilleans, so human, we have met at long last. We are the Achilleans and we have claimed these worlds in our name. Let both our civilizations flourish and prosper in the centuries to come. Centuries? Wow. You, sir. You, sir, are an optimist. Space defenses? No thanks. He's still an optimist, but. God damn. Kona class 4. Ah, now that's obviously not the home world, but I'm imagining. Yeah, it is Drengia. Two habited planets. It probably has the capital. Because most capitals usually have a class 4 next to them. Like Mars. Oh, I haven't colonized Mars yet. Should be the first thing, probably, but yeah, would have been fine. Xeno factory is good. Let's get sensors. Just that, just that one extra tiny bit of sensors will probably work out quite nice for us. So it is Drengi, so class 10. There's probably better planets to make the trade route with. However, for now, let's just uh, set up this. We can't. The range is nowhere near enough. Oh dear. Alright, never mind. Automate that, and then the trotter can. Um... Hmm. I suppose we just look for. Uh... Well, there's got to be one of these planets in range that I can make a trade route with. What haven't I explored yet? It's got to be. It's got to be here. It's got to be here that the other minus civilization is. I'll make a trade route with them. Hopefully. It's in a factory on Earth. Cool. You're automated. You'll figure something out. So Earth is now upgrading everything to Xeno factories. A lot more production. Quite nice. A lot more expensive, but you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, yeah, another turn. Agent. Oh, agent now available. And there's a star base. Probably should have spoken about that, but pff. details. Details. Build me a constructor. We're going to want to go upgrade that ASAP. Probably upgrade the constructor with the better engines, but it costs money, I think, to get better engines. Probably, I don't know. I, I really don't know that one. 
can also um, place agents specifically on planets. It um, shuts down buildings, but we don't need to mess around with anything like that. We're just going to want to keep tr uh, spying on the Drengen until we have them on the highest level of espionage and then just laugh and be happy. Uh, let's swap out uh, one of these for a manufacturing capital. Hmm, there's also the restaurant of eternity we're going to want to stick somewhere, the, the economic capital we're going to want to stick somewhere. Didn't we have one that we were making the economic capital? What about that? No, it's the research. We don't have the research capital yet, do we? No. Uh, hold on. They are the labs. Yeah. Uh, they're the advanced market centers. Uh, that's reasonably economic, but we can probably do better than a class 10 for our capital. Economic capital, that is. Um, well, we will stick an extra advanced market centre here, I think. Yep. And then, is there anything we should really stick on Earth? Hold on, I thought I upgraded all these... Oh, no, this is in a factory. Sorry, I got confused by the graphic for a second there. Uh, we could change it with the restaurant of eternity or the economic capital, but we're not going to. Now, we're still not making a profit. But maybe eventually, you know, there's a lot of population to grow into. Anyway, that shall probably do for now, I do believe. So, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, extra sensors. Can we see anything? I'm just. So, yeah, sensors are very cheap tech. We can get to the eyes of the universe pretty quickly, but not just yet. Soon. Very soon. I need weapons actually. I'm gonna hold off just just a bit longer. Just a bit longer. Power plants. We're gonna want one of those. Those are um, what those do is they give an extra percentage to industry. But you can only have one per planet. So you want it on the ones with the. You want, once you get like more than it's probably a very specific, but I'd say more than about three factories on planet. You probably want one of those. It's probably more efficient. Maybe I don't know. It's probably nowhere even near that. Impulse drive just for like essentially plus one speed I think to everybody or plus 10% something look maybe uh, advanced trades in a business a sensor array which is the thing you can put on it's a human thing you can put on uh, ships it's I think I think it's a very light but a powerful sensor as opposed to the normal sensors um, xenoethics good trade centers with the extra things and oh, so many things I need Will be not a really need. I really need the advanced colonization. But even if I get it, there's all the other things I have to get. So hold off just a bit longer. Population growth is also nice. Um, let's see. Do I eeny meeny miny mo? <laughs> Zero entertainment. The extra morale. We could stick the uh, tax rate up, which is always tempting. Miniaturization. That's for building ships. We don't need that yet. Uh, let's go. You know. Let's go into stellar governments. That leads on to more diplomacy, so we can just get better. Also, eventually, lets us get into yeah, that lets us get alliances. This lets us become a republic, which is a better form of government with more money. So yeah, let's go. Let's go the government route for now, and then uh, yeah, that'll do for this episode. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time.